Hello and welcome back to my channel, Anshika Goel Illustrator, and it's time to level up your illustrations. So it's the 10th episode of my digital illustration series, and we have covered a lot of topics so far. So now we are to be moving towards the jewelry illustration, how to render jewelries on Coral Draw. So yeah, we are going to study that. And before that, if you are new to my channel, then do watch my previous video so that you, your basics gonna be clear. And if you have any doubt, you can just comment in the comment section. Let me know your reviews about the same. And also stay tuned on my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, then subscribe right now, hit the bell icon and yeah, stay tuned. So without wasting much time, let's move towards the session, the practical session. And for that, let me share my screen. And we are going to study diamond jewelry over here. And so my screen is visible to all. And let's say, uh, because we are making the diamond jewelry, for that, I'll suggest you to just download a better quality picture of diamond. So let me show you that too, how to do, do that. So let me share my screen again um, on Google Chrome. You have to search by like diamond pictures. All right, so diamond pictures and let's say, come on to picture. So of course we don't need this angle of diamond. We need a center front angle of the diamond. And let's say diamond front picture. So now it's good. Diamond front picture. This is the best way. So now you have to select what's the best, uh, which of the picture is having the better quality, better pictorials. So I would suggest uh, this one is really good. This one is good. And yeah. And this one is good too. So you have to search over here and select which one is having the good pictorials. So I would recommend you this one. So let's say copy image and let's paste it to our Coral Draw file. And done. Let's paste. So here we have got that pictorial. Now take the equal size circle. Now what you have to do is you have to select this picture, the picture that we have downloaded and you have to power clip it inside the object, power clip inside this circle. Edit contents, because if you will gonna trace it, you will gonna do outline tracing of it, then the pictorials, the pixels will gonna stretch and the, your quality will gonna decrease. So we don't want that we need this quality. So what we are going, going to do over here is we are creating a circle and we are power clipping this image in that circle so that we will get that shape. We don't need this blank background over here. So this is the best and easiest way to keep our pixels well to keep our design well. So now it has been inserted and let's do finish editing this label. Remove the hairlines and yeah, now we have got it. 
done let's say now we have got our diamond now we have to focus on the shape the design we are going to create so i will tell you the basic first of all the basic jewelry that we will gonna make so in the previous series i have already told you how to use transformation how to use this angle this angles for the rotation of the circle so let me repeat that thing again so if this is a circle and we have to make another circle let's say they just we need this circle so if we want the circle to rotate around this as a center so we have to make it as a center double click over here and you will get this arrow kind of thing and in the middle you will get this circle so you have to drag the circle to the center of this middle one you have to drag it wherever which object you want to make it as a center so once you have made it as a center then come on to the rotation choose the angle whichever you want 30 60 50 40 whatever change it like that way and apply so it will rotate around that so this is a basic technique and you can apply it to any shape it's up to you it's totally up to you so let's do one thing make a replica of it and make it to the center let's make it to center this much let's say uh, we have to make circle and we have to rotate it to here and but the other diamonds we need to decrease the size so i think this much is perfect for us because i need the middle diamond to be in bigger in size and the rotating ones to be less in size so that's why i'm doing this okay now this much height this much distance is perfect for me so what we are going to do is again rotate come to the rotation tool and make the center of the circle okay one second make the center of the circle to here now it's at, it's at the center if you will see you can check it again you can see a small circle over here <coughs> that means this circle has chosen this circle as a center so now if you are going to apply uh, this rotation tool i don't want my angle to be 40 i want my angle to be around 60 so let's see the distance now they have moved uh, at a particular distance in a particular angle and for me it's perfect right now i want to make them join with a let's say this much of let's color it first because i want this stem of gold so i i want to look it like a gold and let's do none over here gradient fill so in the previous session i have told you i have taught you how to use this tool interactive fill for the color gradiency so here you will get to know the variations of different colors how they mix and match so because it's a stem it's a rectangular stem so linear fill will be better so let's change the color one is orange and another one let's do it with yellow have to make it closure to give the effect we have to keep our focus on giving real effect that is why we are experimenting it so much and let's say let's uh, just choose this yellow to be lighter that will be great not this much light but take another models as well 
choose this yellow others models okay okay so here uh, effect dark and shiny effect has been appeared right now so you can see the left and right portion the colors are quite different over here so let's say let's uh, just make this make a replica and make it to here rotate it and make it here on a perfect center this much is good so you can see uh, this is arising and on the above layer it is just uh, coming over the diamonds we don't want that so let's do order and to the back of layer so now it has just sent back to the layer or uh, and the diamonds layer is in the above section is in the top section so let's click this make its center to the circle center drag its center to the middle of circle so now it's done you can double click and check the center is in the uh, middle of that circle so now again come to the rotate tool keep the angle same and apply what happened is it has been rotated and in the layer uh, in the back of layer of each and every diamond so now this what we have got is a jewelry design is an earring design if we just control uh, group it and let's see let's do the background with black proper black and then we we will get to know what's the perfect effect of it how it is looking actually that is more important this so this is how we will make our jewelry so how about this and this is the basic only this is the basic funda that how we are going to do the jewelry things if you are if you want to make a diamond jewelry so you can just import a diamond picture of perfect pixels make it to the same shape and then just apply rotate tools and make whatever design you want this one was very basic and yet beautiful here you have to focus on this kind of fill this fill that we have made so yeah uh, i hope the concept is clear you can add some more designs to it that is also very nice if you will add some more designs like for an example let me just extend this extend this rectangle let's remove this one and if i would extend this rectangle to here and let's say uh, let me just want this replica and again uh, make the small size and i want it over here change the order and make it to the front layer how about this i hope it's good let's see so it's up to you if you want to again make some rotations so let's say if you want small diamonds attaching towards it um let's just choose it over here make it small and attach it over here make it center to the middle of this one so 
make it center to the middle of this one it's better to zoom at this position where you are unable to handle this minute detailing so let's you you can see the center is not in the middle so make it center now it's in on the center come to the rotation tool and let's say i want it to be at the 30 angle and let's say what happens so it is overlapping so we need to increase the angle let's say to be at 40 and apply now it's perfect and let's just apply zoom out and let's see what happens so this is what we have got right now so it's up to you how you just manipulate your designs and the main thing to keep in mind while making jewelry illustration is what kind of jewelry you are making and the design should be clear in your head whatever i have taught you right now is a totally random random design and yeah the easiest and the best one also you have to export whatever uh, the stones you are using you uh, the pixel should be very nice make a perfect shape of it perfect design shape and then power clip it into that object those shapes whatever you are making then you need to understand what else element you are giving to it like i have added those golden stems so you need to make it of perfect effect like i have used two colors on that to give dark and light effects so yeah you have to keep a check on that and rock it learn it and let me know uh, practice that at home let me know if you have any doubt further if you want to suggest any topic to me or you want to give your reviews then yeah please do that on the comment section and if you are new to my channel then watch my whole series of digital illustration and if you haven't subscribed yet then do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching keep sharing keep supporting